This is Jane Mitten, Jane Does Keto, and uh, today is day six of our 30-day OMAD challenge, one meal a day. And I'm starting to get a lot of DMs and instant messages, all kinds of texts and emails from people asking me why I'm on OMAD and why I'm even on keto. So I thought I'd just do a short video again to talk about the reasons behind the science. So I went on keto a year ago and I thought that I would lose, you know, maybe 20 pounds and that would, you know, help me to reach a very high quality of health, which my health wasn't bad, but I wanted it to stay healthy and I didn't want to go on any medicines or anything like that. So I lost about, I'd say 55 pounds and then I kind of hit a wall. Uh, wasn't losing weight very quickly as we all do by hitting plateaus and things. And of course, as you get closer to your goal, maybe your goal is to be slightly underweight, then you find you're going to lose weight slower. So uh, I switched to OMAD, one meal a day. And what it is is a time-restricted way of eating. It's a, it's a time-restricted window. So instead of eating, you know, three meals a day and two snacks, I'm eating one meal a day and no snacks. And I'm eating that meal in about an hour and a half to two hour window. So what I found is that I have, and, and others, many, millions of people throughout the world have found this too, a quicker mental acuity while fasting 22 hours a day. My mind is quicker than it was even when I was just fasting 18 hours from dinner to lunch. It's faster and yet it's quieter. I have more control over my emotions, uh, but I am thinking even quicker. Um, I feel like I have more energy than when I was doing the 18-6 fasting or just keto in general. So, um, you know, I feel like I'm able to exercise at a higher clip, more energy throughout the day to, you know, do work, then do housework and handle anything that comes along. Um, I have little to no hunger. That doesn't mean that I don't, you know, from time to time crave or think I'm craving, you know, my addiction, which is sugar or, you know, even savory things. Like once in a great while, I think about chips or crackers, uh, chips and salsa, you know. Really haven't craved though, uh, those things at all over a year's period, along with pasta, pizza, rice, sushi, uh, potatoes, that kind of thing. It just, it just hasn't happened. Um, so doing OMAD makes that even more apparent that you simply have no hunger. So your mental acuity is greater. You have um, a quicker and quieter mind, more control over your emotions, less, um, less fatigue, much more energy, um, little to no hunger i found. Um, I feel like my health is excellent. Uh, I have lower blood pressure, lower glucose. My blood pressure was normal before, uh, it was maybe 120 over 75 or 80, and now it's 100 over 60. My resting pulse was about 78, and now it's about 54. My glucose was, I think, 106 or 7, and now it's 50. These are not numbers that don't mean anything. Uh, my cardiac risk was three times what it is now, which is virtually nil. These are numbers that explain what's happening on the inside. As much as I want to be a size zero and, you know, going from a 14 to a four as I look towards dropping down below that, the main thing is what's happening on the inside. So to go from 106 glucose to 50, in three months is 
astronomical and to take the blood pressure down like that is very good. Um, every number has dropped so significantly that my doctor has uh, retested my blood work several times because he said it looks like a 25 year old male athletes. I am not alone. I am not special. This is something that you can expect on keto and intermittent fasting and even more on OMAD. So the quicker mind, quieter mind, less emotions, more energy, no hunger, um, restorative health, uh, lower blood pressure, lower glucose, um, m m burning much more ketones, which means that you are burning your own body fat as fuel. That's ketosis or ketogenesis. And you are not burning sugar and glucose. So the other thing that means is you're losing weight, you're retaining muscle. Many times I've lost weight and I lost muscle, not this time. The other thing is you're increasing your insulin sensitivity, which we all want. So uh, there's just really very little that is not 100% positive about doing OMAD. So please join my YouTube channel, Jane Mitten. It's free, and that way you'll get all of these videos. Um, I, I'm probably not gonna keep doing this if I don't get more subscribers, because quite frankly, it is a lot of work. Today, I'm gonna be making, uh, on day six of our OMAD 30-day challenge, eggs and bacon, and a couple other things with that. So. Uh, look for that video as well today. But just know that OMAD um, gives you energy, uh, makes you feel great, you have a lot of energy, your mind is clear, your emotions are good, and um, you're restoring your health. You're getting in radiant health. And that's really the most important thing. That's what we're all striving towards, no matter what size we are, no matter how we look in a bathing suit, what we want is to be in good health so that we're not going to see our favorite friend, our doctor, often. We're not on, as, as I'm an example. I'm on no medicine whatsoever. I don't need to go see my doctor because my blood work and every other test they've done has suggested that my health is excellent. And I don't think it was that way before. When I started this, my kidney and liver enzymes were slightly elevated. That all changed in 30 days. But what's happened since then is absolutely spectacular on the inside. So take it from me, Jane Mitten. Watch my YouTube, subscribe to my channel, and look for these videos where I talk about keto and fasting and our OMAD challenge, day six of the 30 days. We've got a long way to go. So make sure you're eating a little bit more than you would in one meal because it's the only meal you're eating. Look at it from a nutrition point of view only. It's fuel. And remember, fat makes you thin and carbs make you fat. That's the key. A lot of good, healthy fats, organic olives, olive oil, avocados, avocado oil, Irish organic butter, a ghee, G-H-E-E, -E, a clarified butter, um, salmon, which has both the good fat and the omega-3 fatty acids, as well as the protein in one perfect, um, you know, food. So think of that, and uh, I will see you later as we continue on with OMAD, but just know that it makes you feel great. You don't have hunger. You're clear as a bell and you have a lot of energy. So come check out the, uh, the movement that is OMAD, keto and fasting.